no bears. All right. That's fresh. Ah, oh, crisp. I think I'm losing my voice a little bit from paintballing the other day. I was yelling so much. <laughs> I could feel it a little bit yesterday already. Today I'm still recovering. <laughs> I don't recover as fast anymore as I used to. That's okay. It's only gonna go downhill from here. <laughs> or is it uphill? See, when I say it's all downhill from here. Oh wait, no, I said it backwards, right? We've had this discussion before, right? When you say everything is downhill from here, it's supposed to get easier, right? Or is it supposed to get worse because you're going down? And then it's all uphill from here means it's harder, right? Because you got to go uphill or it could mean that it's easier because you're going up. It's too early for this. You guys all done? All right, guys. Chevy, hey, we're waiting for you. Come on, bud. You hungry? Yeah? Anybody hungry? Yeah, looks like it. I'm hungry. Just getting my daily dose of Tim Pool. You guys watch Tim Pool? <laughs> Got a pretty good podcast. I like him. He uh, posts quite a bit every day on his multiple channels. Keeps me up to date with what's going on. So we're getting some packing done here today. I've got the mirror moved out of here already. This dresser's all filled with Brit stuff. So I'm not going to touch it because I'm a good husband. I don't know what's going on with that. So I'm pretty sure it's going to stay like that. We're going to move it like that. I don't know if we have room for this at the new place though. We'll worry about that later. Everything else here, I'm leaving a lot of this here for the new owners, just in case they want to uh, update things. We painted this room white specifically so that when they moved in, it's already a blank template so that they can paint it whatever color they wanted to. We were debating, oh, what color would we want to paint it? And uh, we ended up just going with just straight white. So it's got a primer on it and white paint. So it's all ready for whatever color they want. When they move in, you, you do whatever you want with it. Everything packed up in here. Uh, the bathroom, just the essentials are left. This room here, it's just my laundry that's drying here with the fan. Uh, this is all emptied out. This is our old bed frame that we're, uh, was, it was actually my parents' old bed frame when they first got married, I think, then they gave it to me. And now uh, I just gotta, I think I gotta fix one of these joints here. It comes apart. Oh yeah, see? I gotta glue that back together. We'll probably gift that away to a, a thrift store. Get rid of that mattress. In there is Britt's uh, wedding dress and my wedding tux. I don't know yet what to do with that. Again, I'm a good husband. I am not going to even touch that stuff. I will let the wife decide. In here, this was my dresser. It's completely all emptied out. See, except for some Canadian tire money. Gotta take this TV down soon and fix the wall behind there then. This is all my ammunition. I got some 22 and uh, some birdshot and whatnot here for the shotgun and 22 rifle. I uh, gotta put that away yet. I just have that there right now while I'm moving stuff around. This bed frame will be done the last day because we still need to sleep somewhere. And that's this end of the house. You come into here. Everything is pretty much ready to go into the U-Haul. Yes, I have my, my toolbox inside the house. My wife loves me. But she said under no circumstances can I bring this into the new house. It's got to stay in the shed. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Turn on my charm. Turn the charm up, you know. Turn it on. Maybe not. I don't know. And other than that, yep, this is... Uh, all these cupboards are empty. It's crazy, eh?
It's crazy watching your home just empty out. The only thing that's left in here is our uh, wedding drawer. I probably shouldn't touch it. That we did on our on our wedding day. Mm -hmm. Today is actually our third wedding anniversary. So it's a special day. Britt is working all day <laughs> till 6.30. And uh, we're almost moving on our anniversary. So the way it goes, it's my grandpa's birthday on September 14th. It's my mom's birthday on September 15th. And it's our wedding anniversary on September 16th. So there's no way I can ever forget when our anniversary is. I've got a box. I am a man with a box. Come on, boys. Come help me. Diesel, Chevy, come on. You better listen. I'm telling no, don't be scared of the box. Don't worry. Go on, Chev. <laughs> I'm not gonna do anything. I never do anything. He's still scared of me. Anyways. Uh, got some stuff that's going to the thrift shop out here that I'm donating. Uh this box is for our uh our gazebo out here. Around the corner. Right there. This is where all of our Christmas lights are hung for the outside of the house. I'm glad I took them all down, eh? <laughs> Otherwise I have to do that now. Behold! The Christmas shack. We got Frosty in here. We got his little presents in here. We got our snow shovels. And our Christmas lights all neatly hung up here. And I've got to pack these all away neatly so that uh, we can hang them up again neatly in our new shed in our backyard. Got some more Christmas lines over here, more over here, more over there. I think there's some behind here. No, maybe not. This is all sold. So I think this is pretty much, I just wanna get all the lights in boxes. The chairs are ready to go. What is this frame for here? Oh, it's a gazebo. That's right. We want to set that gazebo up in our new backyard. Okay. Frosty's coming with us. He's going to go on our front porch this Christmas. You know, I'm already looking forward to Christmas because this small house that we that we bought that we're moving into, we have enough Christmas lights to go all the way around our house here, right? That house is like a third of the size, maybe. I can't wait to hang up all of these Christmas lights on the new house. It's going to go all the way around. Our, our, our yard is going to be the Christmas yard of our street. What do you think, Diesel? Should I pack you in a box? Should I pack you in a box, man? Should I pack you in a box? Get in the box, man. I'm gonna pack you. We're moving. Get in the box, man. Get in the box. Weasels don't go in boxes. Okay. Okay, you can travel in the cab with me. How about that? Where's your brother? Where's Chevy? Where is he? Go find him. Where's Chevy? Chevy! Chevy! Oh, oh, I see some movement. Just pooping. Good boy. These two guys are trained to go do number two in the bush. So, very handy. Less for me to clean up. It's going to be a little bit uh, interesting in town because they'll have to go in the backyard and we'll have to clean that up. But uh, at least we have our, like I said, at least we have our country property. I'm gonna spend most of my time when I'm at home at the country property. In summertime, I'm gonna be out there. I don't wanna be in town. But being in town for a short time is the means to an end so we can build the house that we wanna be in. Gotta keep reminding ourselves of that. We won't be there forever. And eventually we'll uh, probably turn this new little house in town into a rental. Or who knows what we'll do with it. We'll, we'll find, find something to do with it. Turn it into a revenue property. Is that what they call it? I don't know. I gotta pack some Christmas lights.
Yes, I am wearing socks and sandals. Thanks for noticing. I know my wife noticed. She's not even here. Look at them out there. Diesel, hey. What you doing? What you doing, man? What you doing? All right. So, Frosty with his little presents there. I think pretty much everything in here is as packed as it's going to get. So once the U-Haul is here, we'll just quickly throw all this right into there. And that'll be that. Okay, so that's another thing crossed off the list. I gotta go pack up a few things in the garage now. Cause I still haven't done it. What's going on? Don't worry, we're not gonna forget the barbecue. Chevy, don't worry, that's very important, I know. Diesel, I know you like it too. That's where you cook the cows, man. You're very good, I love cows. Honestly, there isn't too much left to do. I mean, what is it today, Wednesday? I have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday yet to pack. Saturday and Sunday, the U-Haul will be here to load it up. I really don't have that much more to do. The house is completely done. As done as it's going to be with four days left. We got the cabin over there, that's done. As done as it's gonna be with four days left. The garage, I think I got about two boxes of stuff to pack in there. Just like, this this fly is not leaving me alone, is it? What do you guys want? What do you want? I got no money. Anyways, I can do the garage when we have the U-Haul here on Saturday, just finish that up, throw everything in here. And there's literally, we're, we're, we're ready. We're ready, so much more ready than uh, when we moved here from our last place. Uh, I felt bad about that because when we had our family come out to help us move, not only did they have to help us move, they had to help us pack and move the same day. So we promised ourselves, Britt and I, that we would not do that to them again this year. We didn't even ask any of our family for help this year. We just have awesome family who are gonna show up anyway. And I, I kind of knew they would, that's, that's the way we, we are. Family is everything. Family is what's most important. And when someone's moving and someone needs help, you just show up. You don't need to be asked. You don't need to be asked. So I know both my sisters already offered. My mom and dad are going to be here. Britt's mom and dad will be here. Her stepmom will be here. And uh, we're going to get this done quickly. Quickly, yep. We'll have it all loaded up by Sunday. And Monday morning we get the keys at 10 a.m. And I'm pretty sure we'll have that entire U-Haul unloaded by probably noon or like before supper for sure. I actually have to bring the U-Haul back by 4 p.m. That's how confident I am that we'll have that thing unloaded so quickly. All of our equipment, like our tractors and stuff, uh, the big ones going into storage at my dad's shop. That's going to go on dad's trailer. He's going to bring it down there. We're going to tie everything down onto the trailer. And then Monday, we're going to get everything over there, moved there, right? And then Tuesday... We're going to settle in, and Wednesday it's back to work. I was really hoping to have the rest of the week, but and I've had all of this week and part of last week already. I can't take all of next week off, too. It's, uh, I mean, they'd probably be all right with it, seeing as i got to settle in, but now my bank's not going to be all right with that. <laughs> i got to keep moving. i got to get those wheels turning again, right? And i got to keep you guys happy, too. There's a whole bunch of you guys that just want to see trucking content, and you're like, when are you going to get it back on the road? And I'm like, Another week. So another seven videos yet before you get some more trucking stuff. But don't worry, we make a video every single day. So trucking content is coming again in the future. Just tune in every day, see where we're at. And uh, I can't be trucking every day. I mean, this is life. This is real life. This isn't some kind of, you know, TV show produced and aired on on cable television. No, this, is, this is a YouTube vlog. This is real reality TV. This is a real life vlog this is just the way it is right weasel right diesel we're not characters in a show that have to act we're just ourselves you guys want to go in doesn't look like it you guys are it's a beautiful day out here wonderful you can tell that fall is coming uh, we're actually moving on the 21st which is uh the fall equinox uh so the days are going to start getting shorter really quick because it's about midday now and we're facing south right 
So that's as high up in the sky as the sun gets midday at this time of year. And then for another three months yet, it'll go lower and lower. And then at the winter solstice, just before Christmas, the sun just comes up about right there in the, over the southern horizon up here in Canada. And I'm in southern Canada, so that's why we still have daylight in the wintertime. If you go further north behind us, that sun is already down there. So in wintertime, they don't get any sunlight whatsoever. I wish you could feel it though. Still bringing in some pretty good heat. Okay, I need to put on some actual shoes and we'll go for a walk around the property. You guys wanna go for a walk? Oh, Weasel does, Chevy, how about you? You wanna go for a walk? Should we? Just let me put some real shoes on, okay? Just wait there. Find some real shoes around this place. Yep, gonna miss this place. But that's okay. New and better things are ahead. Right boys? Better things ahead. Well, my children, we've watched you grow. All these pines here, we've been watching them. They were about the size of this little guy right here. When we moved here, now look at him, all grown up. It's gonna be new people to take care of you now, guys. You too, Mr. Squirrel. We'll miss you too. You little devil. There'll be new squirrels, I'm sure, at the new place. Squirrels are little terrorists, I tell you what. And here we got the pond. It has gone down quite a bit. We've gone down about four feet since I stopped pumping water into it. Yeah, at least four feet. But all you gotta do is pump the water back in it and it's ready to go. So we did a lot of work in here this year and uh, it was worth it. It was worth it. We got what we needed. Gotta get that stick out of there. <laughs> you know the place that we're moving it's got like a it's got a nice beach right nearby it's not too close but it, it's a beach that we don't have to take care of <laughs> it's a public beach but we can go and use it it's a lot better than this because any of that as soon as i shut off the aeration starts building up again. I'm leaving the aeration system here for the new owners. If they want to use it, they can use it. They can do whatever they want with it. This is all staying.
looking forward to developing the new place because this place wasn't developed by us this was already developed and it was all set up like this already right i just sort of cleaned it up a lot and made it better the next place we're going to is completely untouched total wild it's gonna be fun seeing our dreams take shape from a complete wild property Something just like this. It's a big property like this. And uh, see it take shape into what we want it to be. And build a brand new house and... Uh, bittersweet. It's a beautiful property. And the people who bought this property, some lucky folks. It, it, went, it went fast. It went fast, so they got lucky. I hope they enjoy it even more than we did. Got a little distracted there, didn't I? Supposed to be packing, and instead we went in and got all nostalgic, and... <laughs> That's okay, of course we're gonna miss this place. Of course we are. But, uh... It is what it is. You know, the next people are really gonna enjoy it, and uh, I think they got it for a fair price. I think we sold it for a fair price. I think we're both happy. You know? I mean, I'm kind of interested to see what they'll do with it. I don't know them, so it's not like I can come and visit them, but you know, I can drive by every now and then and see what they've made of it. Hopefully they make it a little better. We made it better. We, we got this place and we spent the last few years making it better. Now, they're taking it. Hopefully they'll do the same. Other than that, uh, I guess we can get back to what we were supposed to be focused on. In the first place, there's not much left to do. That's why I'm kind of bored. And now that I don't have any work until like next Wednesday, what's a trucker to do? <laughs> I'm gonna do a dump run. Maybe I can take some garbage away so we got less to do on the weekend. But other than that, until the U-Haul truck gets here, like all of this stuff, we're gonna load into the U-Haul when it gets here and we'll get it done in on Saturday probably for the most part. Then Sunday we'll be sitting around just waiting for Monday to come. And then Monday, we'll quickly move in. Thanks for joining me today. Just hanging out at home here. We'll see what we're going to get done tomorrow. Maybe we'll do something more interesting. Maybe we won't. We're just waiting for Monday. <laughs>